Oh my waxy friends, do I have a treat for you today. What I have here in my hot little hands are two months worth of subscription box boxes from the Starlet Corner. The Starlet Corner used to be blended with love and I am a part of the Facebook group, which I will have linked down below. Um, you always, you know, when I talk about these indie wax vendors, just check out their Facebook groups because a lot of them, some of them have ready to ship and some of them only do pre-orders. Um, Ashley from the Starlit Corner does a monthly subscription box, which I have, like I said, two months worth here. This has been my first foray into, um, you know, trying out her wax and I will give my full review at the end, but let me just say, I am impressed. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you the April box. No, lies. I'm gonna start with the March box, then we're gonna talk about the April box, and then we're gonna wrap up everything at the end. Okay, so for starters, I love this packaging. I mean, you know, it seems like incredibly basic packaging. However, um, Ashley puts this very sturdy box in a USPS priority, um, like the nylon kind of um, envelopes. And so it's very well protected, but shipping is not like crazy, crazy money. You know what I mean? Um, so so I love that. Then you open it up and there is always adorable, you know, pretty themed tissue paper and then your order is inside. So we open up, this was for the March box. Um, and then you open it up and that was the, uh, this is the selection for the March. Um, subscription box. So she did put in um, the card which has the theme. The theme was Easter Basket and it says inviting spring with bright, fresh, and fruity scent blends. Let me tell you, Ashley is super responsive. Um, she had posted in the group that she had a couple of subscription boxes that were, you know, she had some openings for boxes and the cutoff is always the fifth of the month. And so I, I kind of wanted to try it, but I wasn't really sure. Um, I was kind of looking for some sneak peeks within the group. And so I messaged her and I was like, hey, I'm really interested, but I cannot do florals. You know, can you tell me is this box? Because I feel like everything in the spring is super floral heavy and I knew that I didn't want that. So right away she messaged me back and she said, no, there's one blend that has a little bit of floral in it, but it's kind of like a back note. So she said, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with it at all. As it turns out, I love the scent combos that she picked. So what she um, what she designed for March was three of these large, like I guess he would call them cake slices, um, and they all have their own little decor on them. And then there is another just like kind of single melt in here, and I want to say this is maybe just like a little teaser or like a little sampler. And then because this was the Easter basket, um, she did put in some candy. Oh, and she wrote a little note here for me. Um, and then she put in some candy. So these are the um, Sweet Tarts ropes. Two of these, which, yum. I can't wait to try these. I can't believe I haven't tried them yet. Um, I love Sweet Tarts. Then there's a couple of packages of Nerds. And then um, some, whoops, I can't get it in my hands. Then some Gobstoppers, which all three of these are like such throwback candies to me and some of my very favorites. I have a massive sweet tooth, so very, very thankful for those. Let's go ahead and I did smell these when they um, when they arrived, but I'm gonna read off the scent descriptions to you and then um, I'm gonna kind of sniff them again now that they've had a little while to actually sit um, and kind of cure. So this one is called Chillin' With My Peeps and it is Marshmallow Peeps, Pink Petal Tea Cakes, Berry Pink, 
pancakes, bergamot waters, and sweet on Paris type. She poured these back in February and she says melt after April 3rd. We are well past that date now, so these should be good to go. Oh, this is good. This is, I do get a lot of that pink petal tea cakes, which I didn't think that I would like, but this is almost a powdery, um, it's got a little butterfly there and then just a little swirl there on the top. Um, almost like a powdery, but I get that bergamot too. So it's kind of a, a sweet bergamot, I would say, um, or bergamot. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. I'm not that classy. Um, but that's really nice. This one is a little bit light, but you know, the peeps and the pink petal tea cake, those are all um, a little bit more uh, fainter or lighter notes. So I'm not terribly surprised on that. I do think that it smells good and I do think that I'll enjoy it. Um, this next one is called the Easter Bunny and this is blackberry sugared violets, strawberry pound cake, and blueberry sugar. There is nothing about this that I don't like. Um, this sounds amazing. And this one is like a layered effect with a cute little bird on the top. I'm, I'm gonna try to take that out for you. See, oh, oh my gosh, I can smell it already. It smells so good. Definitely smell that blueberry. Um, oh, maybe it's blackberry. Blackberry sugared violets. Yeah, that's what it is. Strawberry pound cake and blueberry sugar. Holy cow, that smells good. And then the cute little, um, the cute little birdie on the top. I hope my lights are not blowing that out. I hope you can see it because it's super cute. This one might be my favorite of this box. Um, that smells super good. Okay, and then the last one for the March box is rabbit food. And this one is wild peach poppies, jelly beans, grass, yuzu, and satsuma. So um, the satsuma I feel like is probably gonna be pretty strong in this because I know that is like a kicker. Holy moly, oh yeah. You know, I'm not gonna take this one out. I think you can see it pretty well through the packaging. It looks like um, uh, like cheesecake with like a sauce drizzled over it or something. And then the top is um, a little leaf macaron almost, it looks like. So yeah, oh, that smells really good. I can smell that yuzu and I can definitely smell the satsuma. That is so, so good. So what I would like to do is, um, because this is a subscription that I plan to get every month, what I'm probably going to do is every month I'm gonna bring you, you know, the, hopefully, fingers crossed, every month after uh, the box is released, then I will share with you what I received. Um, but I, I'm doing two this month because, you know, these were my first two months. Sorry, I know this is loud. Um, so these were my first two months to receive the box and I obviously didn't know what to expect really and I wanted to do the first two because I think they're very different in their designs but as far as like amount of wax I did actually buy um, a food scale like a kitchen scale recently and so I went ahead and weighed them out and the the boxes are very consistent with the amount or the weight of the wax that is, you know, that you're paying for. So um, this box was one point, one pound, five and a half ounces. And then the April box was one pound, six and a half ounces so, of wax. Not like, I didn't weigh it like this itself. I actually took all of the different wax pieces out and put them on the scale. So um, now I wanna go ahead and show you, hopefully quickly, the April box, because like I said, I wanted to show you the different um, designs, and this one, I have to say, might be my favorite. Um, I really hope that she does more that are this 
style of box. So I did get a business card from her. I got a cute little note, thank you very much. And then we got the card that tells what the theme of the box is. So this says it's pastel party. It's a box filled with pastel wax melt treats, blended with pretty and sweet oils to take you away to a whimsical pastel party. And then she's got a note on here that says like, hey, these look really yummy, but please don't eat them. And you will see why in just a moment because here is the, um, the cute little themed paper. And y'all, here is the pastel party. I, there could have been some squealing when I opened this box. Um, let me just take them out one by one and I'll show them to you and then we'll sniff and we'll talk about them. So this one is called A Part of Me. It's Fruity Pebbles, Cotton Candy, and Fizzy Soda. And I don't think I've actually smelled any of these yet. I opened it, I got very excited, I read them, but at the time I did not have time to sniff anything. Holy cow. This is amazing. It's definitely Fruity Pebbles. And I, whoa, and I really smell that fizzy soda. Wow, that's so good. And it's just like, the, the shape of it, it almost looks like a drop cookie or something. That is so cute, so yum. Oh my gosh, I'm, now I'm even more excited over this. Um, okay, the next treat is this giant, macaroon or macaron or however you care to say it. Uh, this one is called Lovely Day. It is key lime pie, strawberry shortcake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And all of these, like I said, they do all have the pour date on them and then the melt after date. She does um, provide a one month cure time which is fine because, you know, I've got plenty of older wax and I don't need to warm any of these right away, but oh, I can't wait until I do. Holy cow, that's a super strong vanilla. I think it's the shortcake and the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Oh, that smells so good. It's light, but it's not super, super light. It's not light like that um, that one that was in the April box. This is still a stronger bakery, but it's just a little bit lighter of, um, you know, not like a powerhouse scent. Delicious. Okay, this one is a sugar cookie. Hopefully you can see that. This one is called, oh, pumpkin pecan waffles type. Who does not love this? Seriously, if you don't like pumpkin pecan waffles, please comment down below and let me know why because someone must have hurt you. This is delicious. This is spot on pumpkin pecan waffles. Yeah, that is just, that's just good. That's that's just goodness. Uh, this one I probably would cut in half and then do um, half in, uh, you know, two separate warmers. Um, Y'all, I have a pinched nerve in my back and so if my face like, you know, if I grimace every now and then, um, that's why, because I'm trying to be super still and not like look down or move a whole lot, but that's not super easy to do when I'm trying to do an unboxing. Uh, next we have this little mini loaf. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so we have a little mini loaf. And this has like a little dollop of icing on top. This is called, oh my gosh, y'all. This is Lemon Bites. This is vanilla lace, sugar cookies, wedding cake, and lemon curd. I might break out in a happy dance. Oh my gosh, y'all know I love anything lemon. Stop it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is gorgeous. Holy cow, this is gorgeous. It is just sweet bakery and lemon goodness. That, yeah, I dig it. Okay, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do next. Let's do this one. Uh, this is a big fat cupcake with a little 
a heart uh, embellishment on the top. The scent, here we go, Lava Flow Cupcakes. Mango Sorbet, Lemon Custard, yes, thank you. Pink Chiffon, Tangerine, and Birthday Cake. I am loving all of this like bakery and lemon and brightness. Oh, okay. This is um this is definitely more tangerine. I get the tangerine and the birthday cake. Um the other notes are kind of in the background, I would say for me. Uh strong tangerine, but uh really nice actually. I don't know that I've ever had tangerine wax before, so um so that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> This to me looks A, like the Taj Mahal, you know, like the top of the Taj Mahal, and B, like um, like just a, a giant dollop of frosting or something. I don't know. It just looks delicious and like I want to eat it. Uh, the scent is called Pink Peach, and it is pink sugar, jelly donuts, yum, and peaches, y'all. I am sorry, but like my inner fat girl is screaming right now for all this yum. Okay. Okay, this is a lighter one. It's definitely, I get the pink sugar and the peaches. I get the pink sugar and the peaches. I'm hoping that that jelly donut comes out a little bit more. Um, when it's warmed or when it's cured a little bit more. I love, I mean, like I said, my inner fat girl, but I love the donutty um, or like the fried pastry kind of sense. I just like, that speaks my language. Um, okay, these are freaking adorable. Look at these. Okay, marshmallows on a stick. Are you kidding me? So this one is called Spring Marshmallows, appropriate, and it is Black Raspberry Vanilla and Marshmallow Clouds. I'm expecting this one to be a little bit more of a lighter note, again, because of those marshmallow, uh, what is it called, marshmallow clouds, yeah. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit lighter, but that Black Raspberry Vanilla is also a powerhouse, so. Oh. Okay, that's, that's really good. I didn't expect it to be so like vanilla-y. I expected it to be more raspberry, but I think the combination of the vanilla and that black raspberry vanilla and then the marshmallow vanilla-y, I think that just really brings out the marshmallow scent on that, or like the, sorry, the vanilla scent. Holy cow, I am totally digging that. That's gonna be really, really nice. Um, okay, now y'all sit down. I mean, you're watching a video, so you're probably sitting anyways, but trust me on this one, you're gonna have to sit down. Yeah, that's a giant ice cream scoop piece of wax. it. This, it's called Sweet Eats. Okay. Uh, it's Blonde Moment, Angel Food Cake, Apricots, and Forever Red Type. I could cry. I could absolutely cry. Oh, stop. Oh, that's so good. I don't know what blonde moment is. I definitely smell the apricots. I'm speechless. This smells insane. I, lo I love the colors. I, I mean, how could you not love that mold? I love the scent. This is absolutely incredible. Um, probably not a huge leap to guess that the April box was my favorite of the two. Now, the March box, 
really cute, very nicely done. Um, you know, I mean, I can tell like that design work took some time that, you know, she had to put some time into it. I love the blend of the fragrances, but if I had to choose, I would choose the style of the April box and I'll tell you why. I would prefer, if we're just saying like, here's a pound of wax and here's a pound of wax, how do you want, you know, how do you want to to buy it or you know how do you what do, which one do you choose I would definitely choose the April box because I love the variety of scents I love that you know you get a little taste of the marshmallow over here and then you get a little taste of this one over here I love the variety and I love that I get to especially because these are my only two orders from the Starlit Corner I love that there's so many different things to try um, I definitely think both are good quality. I definitely think there is value in both of the boxes. And I know there are some people that are going to lean more toward the March style of box where they say, no, give me a few good scents, give me a ton of wax in those few scents, and I'll go about my day. You know, I know that there are people that prefer that type, um, but for me, I definitely prefer the, you know, the, the sweet treats or what did she call it? Pastel, pastel party. I definitely prefer this style of box. Now, that's not to say that, you know, next month may not swing more toward the fewer size, but larger pieces. I don't know. These are the only two months that I have to go on. I did want to talk about price real quick. Um, the subscription itself is $36.60 per month. You do pay for shipping. As I said, she sends everything priority. Um, it's $8.50. So my total out of pocket each month has been $45.10. Do I think that is worth it? Absolutely. I particularly, as I see the effort that Ashley puts in to, um, you know, into the Facebook group and into the actual orders themselves and the, the styling of her wax itself, she has a photographer that she hires to take pictures of her wax, which I think is genius. I think that if the design of the wax melts and the pouring of the wax melts is your, you know, is your forte, that's your strong suit, play, absolutely play to your strengths and partner with someone else who can showcase your products in the best possible light because that's going to lead to more appeal to your customers and they're going to buy more. I can 1000% tell you I will buy more from her because of the design of her products, the quality of her products, and you know, just the way that she showcases things on her on her Facebook page and on her website. I 100% think that um, this company is one that you should definitely check out, that you definitely should consider investing in. I cannot wait to start warming some of this wax. I definitely will bring you updates, um, like I said, as I get more subscription boxes, I want to keep posting those. And then I also, you know, as I start to warm things, we'll give you reviews on what it is that I have warmed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Um, I'm so thankful for what you are doing and what you are creating and that I get to be just a very small part of um, supporting your small business. And thank you all for watching. I hope you will consider subscribing to me. Go check out Ashley and subscribe to her, uh, become a part of her Facebook group and consider subscribing to her subscription as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.